It doesn't take an economist to know there's something wrong with our economy. Americans blame the banks for our current economic crisis, and the anger is stoked when people learn that while we taxpayers have been bailing out the banks, certain bank executives have been taking home boatloads of money and lots of perks for themselves. The Bank of America president arrived on a $50 million G5, despite being kept in business with $45 billion in taxpayers' money. The Bank of America, which now has $45 billion in taxpayers' money to keep it in business. But the outrage and the bailout money didn't stop the bank from going ahead with spending millions of dollars as one of the corporate sponsors of the NFL entitling its executives this Super Bowl weekend to lavish parties and a luxury suite at the game itself. After acquiring Merrill Lynch, the Bank of America lost billions. But after getting a taxpayer finance bailout worth tens of billions of dollars, Merrill and Bank of America handed out fat bonuses to their executives and traders. Last December, Merrill Lynch handed out more than $3 billion in bonuses just weeks before being taken over by Bank of America. It shows that the bank doesn't get it, and they're not spending the taxpayers' money properly. Merrill Lynch, uh, Citigroup, Countrywide are just three of the firms that suffered major subprime losses, as you know, and at the same time, their top executives earned multi-million dollar salaries. And this is all despite Merrill Lynch losing almost $35 billion over the past two years. Despite receiving tens of billions of taxpayer dollars, and doling out generous executive pay, Bank of America is planning what would be one of the largest rounds of layoffs in the history of the financial industry. Breaking news, Bank of America expecting to slash between 30 and 35,000 jobs over the next three years. Yeah, the result of the merger with Merrill Lynch and the weak economy. Merrill Lynch, I'll tell you, I've never seen anything this insane. Someone needs to explain why certain CEOs remain in their jobs after taking tens of billions of dollars of taxpayer money, giving themselves huge paychecks, and firing thousands of their hardworking employees. This morning, it's now been confirmed Bank of America, the number two U.S. bank, will buy MBNA Corp. for $35 billion, making Bank of America one of the largest U.S. credit card issuers. While Americans are losing jobs, Bank of America has just told some credit card customers they'll be raising their interest rates. Bank of America hosted a conference call with leading critics of America's labor unions. On the call, several clients of Bank of America chimed in and spoke of ways to kill the Employee Free Choice Act. It's their biggest issue in 40 years in labor, and it is the Employee Free Choice Act. Do you think it's appropriate, while in receipt of TARP funds, to be trying to defeat measures uh, such as the Employee Free Choice Act? Doing what's in the best interest of your company uh, is always the best thing to do. After getting a taxpayer bailout, Ken Lewis says he understands his public responsibilities. Yet despite what he says in public, his actions reveal something quite different. Bank of America is fighting reforms that would benefit the economy and consumers. Employee free choice would ensure that Bank of America's own workers have a voice on the job and create some balance once again in our economy. 